Pablo Rosgado is a contemporary artist based in Mexico City. A common thread throughout his works is an earnest consideration for the origins of his materials. Most of these are fragments, splintered off of a greater whole. Pablo takes an almost anthropological approach to understanding the life cycle of these fragments, from their inception to their destruction, from which he ultimately brings about new abstracted forms for them to inhabit. The Latin word spolia, which translates into English as reuse, represents an enduring practice in both architecture and art, in which structural and decorative elements are disassembled and repurposed in new buildings and sculptures. Spolia was often a souvenir taken by one country or empire from another, and used to distill new monuments with the power and history of the past. Through the use of spolia, bits and pieces of history become entangled with new periods and become alienated from their origins. In his 2019 solo exhibition at Piero Acigari Gallery in Miami, When the Symbol Shattered, Pablo created sculptures and paintings with spolia taken from our modern day monuments, demolished buildings and advertisements. The exhibition was a culmination of Pablo's residency at RAIR, Recycled Artist in Residency. Pablo spent one month in Northeast Philadelphia where he carried out his residency at a construction and demolition waste recycling facility. Working closely with the staff at RAIR, Pablo was able to make a detailed selection from 450 to 600 tons of materials that arrived on a daily basis from industry, debris, and the insides of houses. The exhibition is composed of four nuclei of works that use demolition and reconstruction as fundamental elements for the creation of these pieces. The four bodies of work are reconstructed advertisements, a ghost mural, a minimal house, and a series of extracted paintings. He constructed some of his works on site using the machinery at the facility and laid the initial bases for others. It was an opportunity for Pablo to immerse himself even more deeply in the origins of his materials, to witness the process of the way things become infinite and their evolution over time between demolition and rebirth, event and fading. Pablo remarked on his time at RAIR, saying things he didn't see at first began to appear to him in the rubble. The bare skeleton of a house, its cables and wires, and the treasures of its occupants. Together, they are a whole ruin of what happened in that place. When the symbols shatter, redefines the construction of a person. We are not simply skin and bone, but rather experiences and choices. Architecture itself is molded to accommodate human bodies. The modern ruins that Pablo excavates create an abstract portrait of people and the things they leave behind. Casa Minima is a synthesis of a place. Acrylic houses various structural and ornamental elements of a demolished home. Wood, stone, drywall, flooring, etc. The wood from a demolished home is broken into chips and the bricks are crushed into gravel. While Casa Minima's components have acquired a different form, those same components are still assembled in their original proportions. This synthesis of a place reveals the power of meaning. The walls and roof of a home become entirely unidentifiable in their shattered state. By adapting a technique for transplanting frescoes from their original walls, Pablo developed a reconstruction technique to remove the painted surface from a building. He used this technique to create three paintings, titled A Fold is a Collapse. Each is made from an extracted painted layer taken from a house before its demolition. By engaging in this extraction, Pablo unfolds architecture by abstracting the three dimensions and rehousing them onto the surface of a canvas. Mural, which spans almost 25 feet across, is made entirely from construction materials from demolitions. Using elements from different buildings, Pablo matched up bits of rubble as they arrived at the facility, quickly searching for patterns before they were broken down and repurposed. The Mexican tradition of muralism uses figurative painted allegories as a way of bookmarking chapters in history. Mural, however, appears completely abstract. There is no figurative image to represent these people or their stories. The struggle between abstractionism and realism in this piece is profound, because this is the most realistic depiction of the place that these materials were taken from. Pablo presents relics, physical artifacts that have been touched and lived in. His only intervention is how he arranges them. When the symbols shatter not only presents the stages of decay, but also attempts to intervene or even outrun them, 
when reflecting upon the rapid pace at which he sorted through an average of 450 tons of materials that arrived daily to the sorting facility. Pablo said, you have to act fast. You can't slow down the speed of the waste stream. Ventana is made of bricks that Pablo sorted through to find matching parts of the same building. The identifier for these bricks was a demolition mark that a developer had spray painted. The unifying visual element of this mark punctuates the final moments of a building before it was reduced to a pile of bricks. His arrangement of these bricks creates a static burst from the center, mimicking the explosive nature of demolition, and at the same time, holding it in a meditative stasis. An assemblage of several asphalt fragments that were removed after their demolition from the streets of Philadelphia. Au plein air reconstructs a public ruin. The title of the piece references the act of painting outdoors, a technique that has been practiced since the late 1800s and advocated by French Impressionists. Each fragment has a different paint mark on its surface. The subjective reconstruction of those fragments composes a new abstract image that responds to piecing together the remains of Philadelphia's landscape. The titular pieces of the exhibition. When the symbols shatter are light box billboards that Pablo salvaged from the waste facility. The metal billboards arrived at the facility without any images. A week later, Pablo found the matching printed advertisements. In many of these works, Pablo creates an abstract portrait of humans. In these light box pieces, we see a portrait abstracted in a formal sense and a symbolic sense. Formally, a face is broken into fragments floating within the light box. Symbolically, we see the visual language of advertisement as an abstracting force. A pronounced identity is airbrushed into a canvas upon which products can be marketed. There is an anachronism in both the creative process and the final result that is when the symbols shatter. The image loses its sacred character once it is outside time, and is tarnished by time as it talks about it. It is not located in time, but instead tells us about it, praising it in its complexity and multi-directionality. The symbols shatter, leaving rubble behind them. Rubble that in the works of Pablo Rasgado creates a tangle of hidden meanings that do not crave the symbol but reject it in favor of telling us about the chronological complexity of becoming.